Hi friends, today let's talk about types of ovules. Depending upon the shape and curvature, the ovules of angiosperms are classified as follows. Mainly there are six types of ovules. First one is orthotropus. It is also known as atropus. Ortho, the name itself denotes the sprite, means it is in the sprite upright. And uh, second one is, means the point which is tropus, the name itself denotes the terms. And uh, further, where the micropyle, chalaza, and funicle, you can see here, where the micropyle, chalaza, and funicle, these are arranged in a straight means they are facing upright this is the main thing and uh, where the forms the main system here and uh, these are uh, considered to be very primitive means they are primitively having the characteristics uh, in angiosperms and uh, further they have given some examples for this orthotropus verbal one is uh, polygonum Piper, Cycus, etc. Means these are examples of orthotropus. Second one is anatropus bovil. Ana, the word denotes that ana means backward and up or up like that. Means it is having some different backward type anatropus. Where in this micropyle, chalas and funicle are having, but this curves means it takes about 180 degrees curvature and where the microfill is comes downwards and it reaches very closer to the funicle this is the main difference between orthotropus and anatropus where the microfill comes very closer towards the funicle and it forms one of the different type of and uh, it takes about 180 degrees the curvature and uh, examples for this is gamma petalae members and mainly this type of ovule is observed in 82% of angiosperms this type of orthotropus ovule condition is observed in 82% uh, of angiosperms and third one is hemianotropus or hemitropus where the micropyl chalaza funicle are present but these are means the ovule the body of the ovule is placed transversely it is placed like this very means it takes about 90 degrees perpendicular to the funicle and uh, together where the it is having micropel and uh, chalaza these are placed in a straight line and uh, examples for this is Renunculus, this is a Renunculus, one of the great examples for this. Fourth one is Compilotropus. Compilotropus, in this, where the embryo means the ovule is compressed, some type, where the body is slightly curved means it is having about more or less it is placed in a perpendicular means it is perpendicular more or less and are having a different type means they are not having the micropel and chalaza they are not uh, placed in a straight line means they are somewhat up and downs we can see and uh, examples for this is compilotropus means they are having a different type compilotropus means legumine cruciferae these are the two examples having this type of ovule one is amphitropus this is one of the very interesting because it is uh, having the embryo sac where the complete uh, means they are having very curved body means they are having so much curve that uh, Completely, the embryo sac is completely turned like a horseshoe shape. We can see here that a horseshoe shape like means uh, micropyl and chalaza 
finical they come very near up this is one of the greatest thing and uh, examples for this is uh, alice maceae buta maceae and lemma these are the four examples of having uh, amphitropus bovial and uh, sixth one is sarcinotropus bovial in this type of bovial where they are uh, having the finical where the bovial appear to be like a amphitropus and the development rapid uh, due to the rapid development of the bovial and uh, funicle rapidly develops and the curves it curves further means it takes about 180 degrees and uh, later uh, the growth continues further and uh, it uh, completely reverse means it appears like anatropus but uh, later it uh, turns like a uh, orthotropus bovil completely it uh, going to be curved and uh, appear like a means one side of the one side of the ovule get more rapid development from there the curvature continues further and uh, where the micropyl faces towards upside before that it is amphitropus but later it uh, turns into orthotropus where the micropyl faces towards upright these are the types of bovils but i will give the few uh, one example for this that is a uh, sarcinotropus main example is opuntia that is cactus here and uh, where uh, these are the main examples i have given further and uh, these are the main types of bovils i hope guys this video is helpful thank you